What's going on guys? Big Turkey on Weed here and we're going to talk to you today about bringing you the Las Vegas Raiders offense. This is my new offense, something I've been running for a while here and we're going to start right off the bat with uh, probably one of my new favorite formations. It was one of my favorite formations last year when it was added to the game and it's the gun tight doubles formation. And the first thing we want to talk about is um, different uh, plays that you can run. Uh, the main play out of this formation is the beat man. Um, obviously with man being such a meta this year you really want to have something that has a lot of man beaters on it and we're going to be looking at zig, zig under so on defense we're going to come out and we'll, we'll call it like a dollar man we'll do cover man blitz and as you can see here the zig routes they work very well versus man the slant route the flag route so the shading inside or outside and we'd really like to put ezekiel elliott on a uh hard flat like a table route on the right side if we have backfield master um obviously if you don't have backfield master you can still do this it just makes one less uh, route that you can come up with now i can't really use the defense in this scenario because uh, i don't have two controllers for playstation 5 yet but you're going to be able to get and see what we like to do now the first thing i like to do is i like to send square on a go and the reason why that is is because it sets up a few of my other plays that i like to run out of this um, particularly against the zone defenses and uh, basically cover three I like to run that go and try to hit it up the seam on the outside shoulder but we're talking man defense so I'll usually run the play like this sometimes I'll smart route that x route and it'll shorten up that route a little bit um, you can also smart route triangle to try to get the user out of the center but usually this circle route here is so far out of the center that uh, the computer or the user is going to be out of there by the time it gets there anyway. So he's just going to come out. He's going to stick right there, and he's going to come back across the middle. Now, what I like the most about this route, and you're going to see it in my gameplay, is when he comes back across the middle, because I have this go route here and I have this crosser and everything is fading to the right side, he comes back across the middle to a lot of open field. Now, Michael Gallup doesn't get a lot of separation there but when you got guys like Julio Jones and you got guys like Marquise Brown the new Marquise Brown that are very maneuverable in the open field this can result into really big plays and versus man he's almost always going to get that inside track we love it um it's going to get you, you good yardage and like I said the biggest worry is the user to come across and try to hit that Now, what happens is, is like I said, the user comes down, and maybe that, that's what he's going to try to take away. That's where we're going to try to hit Cooper um, over the top. you know. And if he really wants to hit, come down and try to fade that route, I mean, hitting Cooper over the top there on that post is, is almost unguardable from any kind of man defense. Um, he's basically going to have to uh, run safety zones in the hook curl, hook zones, to be able to really stop that and be able to allow himself to man. And if he starts doing that, we're going to start fading over here and sliding to the right and trying to hit the tight end. Now your tight ends are going to be a lot better than like Dalton Schultz. So that's just our man beater. It throws a lot of man beating routes out there. Now, one of the other ways that you can run this is with the CD lamb running on the outside. You can still run that without the, without the go. Because that's also a man beater over there. And that's really, as he ran the terrible route there, but um, really, I would smart route. I usually change that to its normal zig like that. And the goal here is just to try to get him on the outside shoulder with some room to run up the sideline. Um, like I said, CeeDee Lamb with his rookie card here is, is not going to get too much separation. Um, but you kind of see what we're trying to do is get that little separation there and then get you room to run. So a lot of things in this, in this play when you're playing man defense is, is going to get you some ability for room to operate um so the second thing i want to kind of show you here is what we'd like to do versus cover three um and it's actually going to be the exact same play with a little bit of motion added to it uh we're gonna we're gonna add a little bit of motion where we take let's get ourselves in a cover three a lot of people are running nickel right now i don't think they maybe they come out in like three three five wide it's a common thing we've been seeing on weekend league. Um, it usually has a good blitz, so you might not have the time that you, you require to be able to run this. As I motioned the wrong guy. All right. 
So we want to send square on a go in versus the cover three. And we're going to roll circle back over here. Put circle on a comeback right here. And now you're going to have a pretty good look to be able to throw to the outside shoulder of square. And get over top of that corner. Now, it, it's a play that works even better when you have, like I said, different receivers out there. But it's going to work consistently. Um, sometimes instead of running a comeback, maybe I want to try to... And I really like to run this actually with the ball all the way over to the hash. There'll be a little bit more separation as well. Because there'll be a little bit more space between that corner. We'll run it to the opposite hash. You can do whatever you want with this X and the um, running back. And you try to get it over top of that zone. Um, things like... Uh, Sometimes I'll put him on an out route if, if uh, he's fading that play with how much uh, ground he's actually given right there. And it kind of hesitates him a little bit more. Now he almost picked that one off. But that's what I like to do is, is to try to get that deep ball up over top of him with the cover three. Um, it just makes him stick a little better when he has the... Uh, He hit trout. You see how when he hit the hit trout, the guy came up and took about two steps forward? That's what we're really looking for. So that's really the cover three play I like to run out of there. And then if he's really running like cover four, cover two, obviously cover four, you're going to have to stay underneath um, and do some things with that and get some yards after carry catch. It's pretty easy to do with that play. But really the biggest thing is to come out in the cover two beater. And uh, the my favorite cover two beater that's in this playbook is the uh, where is it at? The tight end curl. So we'll run tight end curl. We'll come out in like dollar cover two drop, I guess, whatever you want to do. For this, you have to have a slot apprentice. Slot apprentice is my favorite one. I like to put square on the flag. But you can also run this on the uh, other side of the field. What you'll do is, is you'll bring C.D. Lamb, you'll motion him over. Put C.D. Lamb on a go, and you're creating that high-low read right there. Cooper's down low. Oh, I'll throw it the wrong button. But you see how open circle is. Um, you could do this same exact thing, except for it really accentuates that tight end there if you have slot apprentice. Um, basically, you would put C.D. Lamb on a, flat, on a flag and run the high-low with C.D. Lamb and Ezekiel Elliott. And that curl there just sits in a very good spot that isn't really stoppable with uh, cover two. So there's that cover two play that I really like to run out of it. Um, you can kind of make it look the exact same way when you're running fl uh, with Slot Apprentice, and it, it'll give you a pretty good setup. So that's the first three plays I want to show you out of this playbook. Uh, please like and subscribe. I thank you guys a lot for watching. And we'll be bringing you part two, part three, maybe even a part four of this playbook series. Um, clearly, the, the Las Vegas Raiders playbook has great runs out of it. So we're really going to try to focus on trying to get you some passing as well as the running opportunities. All right, man. Thanks a lot.